so this is about maxilla bone right so maxilla is a latin word meaning cheek ya jaw the word is commonly used in reference to upper jaw so location of maxilla right so this is here locations there are two maxilla which form major part of upper facial skeleton whole of the upper jaw is formed by two maxilla junction of two maxilla is marked by intermaxillary suture visible in the hard palate and face in midline so now coming feature and attachment each maxilla consist of a body and four process first zygomatic process second frontal process third alveolar process and fourth palatine process so discuss about body it has a four surface anterior intratemporal orbital and here nasal anterior surface it is directed forward and laterally there is a vertical elevation at the site of socket for canine root this is called canine eminence medial to canine eminence is a depression called incisive fossa which give origin to depressor septi here give origin to depressor septi the anterior surface below the incisive fossa give attachment to incisive superior and orbicular origin just above the incisive fossa there is a attachment of nasalis muscle here nasalis muscle lateral to canine eminence is another fossa called canine fossa right so levator anguli orich originate from the canine fossa above the canine fossa is a foramen called infra orbital foramen it transmit infra orbital nerve and vessels so above the infra orbital foramen is sharp infra orbital margin which give origin to levator levi superiorly its upper part is limited medially by a deep notch called nasal notch so now coming infra temporal surface infra temporal surface is a backward and lateral so infra temporal surface it faces backward and laterally it form anterior wall of infra temporal fossa it so two to three opening of alveolar canals which transmits posterior superior alveolar nerve and vessel its in its infra posterior part is marked by maxillary tuberosity which articulate with the pyramidal process of palatine bone so next this one the orbital surface it forms floor of orbit first point it forms floor of orbit running the forwards is infra orbital group in the middle of its posterior parts the groups continue with the infra orbital canal 
which open on the anterior surface as infraorbital foramen it it sorry it is meant for infraorbital nerve and vessels so next point anteromedially it give origin to inferior oblique muscle here inferior oblique muscle it has three borders medial borders posterior borders and anterior border so medial borders it is marked anteriorly by lacrimal notch behind this notch this border provide attachment to lacrimal bones orbital plate of the ethmoid and orbital process of palatine bones from backward sorry from before backward so posterior borders it forms anterior border of inferior orbital fissures next anterior borders it contribute to the medial part of the infra orbital margins right so next coming nasal surface so this one the nasal surface it forms the lateral wall of nasal cavity first point it forms lateral wall of the nasal cavity second point a large opening is the most prominent feature of this surface right third point maxillary hiatus yeah sorry maxillary hiatus or maxillary concave so this is medial concave leads into maxillary sinus a large air space within the body of maxilla next point maxillary hiatus is greatly reduced in size in articulated skull by ethmoid and lacrimal bones just above here so inferiorly concave below and perpendicular plate of palatine bone behind below this hiatus this surface forms inferior meters of nasal cavity posterior part of nasal surface has got an oblique groove which is converted into greater palatine canal by perpendicular plate of palatine bone greater palatine nerve and vessels passes through this canal in front of head is in nasal lacrimal groove this is converted into nasal lacrimal canals by lacrimal bones and inferior concha this canal is meant for nasal lacrimal duct an oblique ridge sorry an oblique ridge called concha crest is present in front of nasal lacrimal groups it is articulated with the inferior concha so now coming process process of maxillary bone so generally see here four process zygomatic process frontal process alveolar process and here palatine process first of all discuss about zygomatic process it has three surface it has three surface anterior surface posterior surface and superior surface the latter is rough for articulation with the zygomatic bone the latter is rough for articulation with zygomatic bone so next frontal process this one the frontal process it process an upper and and sorry it process an upper end two surface so generally see here uh, two surface lateral and medial 
and two border anterior and posterior so upper end of frontal surface it articulate with the nozzle notch of frontal bone next point surfaces lateral surface it has a vertical ridge in the middle for attachment of medial palpebral ligament and area in front of crest give attachment uh, to orbiculi oculi and levator levi superiorly aluic nasi and uh, area behind the lacrimal crest contribute to the anterior half of lacrimal groups right so next surface medial surface it has got a horizontal ridge so that is called ethmoidal crest in its middle right it articulate with the middle nasal concha here so next point a rounded area above the crest articulate with ethmoid to complete anterior ethmoidal ear cells the area below the ethmoidal crest form atrium of middle meatus so next uh, border right border of uh, frontal process anterior border it articulate with nasal bones and uh, posterior borders it articulate with lacrimal bone next process alveolar process it is arch uh, lower border of body it has socket for upper teeth buccinator origin from posterior part of outer surface over the socket for permanent molar roots so this one the palatine process it is a horizontal bracket like projection from the lower part of medial surface of body it forms anterior to fourth of hard palate it has two surface superior and inferior and uh, three borders medial posterior and lateral borders so first of all discuss sorry so first of all uh, see here surface so this is superior surface it is concave and smooth it forms floor of nasal cavity so next here inferior surface it has depression for palatine gland it has several nutrient foramen for nutrient vessels greater palatine groups for greater palatine nerve and vessel is present in its posterior lateral part right when the two maxilla meet in cc fossa is a notch behind the cc in cc teeth in cc canal is communication between the in cc fossa and nasal cavity it transmit greater palatine artery and nasal palatine nerve right so next point border medial border posterior border and lateral border so medial borders it meets with the similar border of opposite maxilla to form intermaxillary suture this border is raised into a ridge called nasal crest nasal crest of two sides enclose a groove to receive the boomer bone its anterior end is prolonged and meets with the similar prolongation of the opposite side to form anterior nasal spine next borders posterior border it articulate with the anterior border of horizontal plate of palatine bone to form palatomaxillary suture so third border lateral border it fused with the body so last point maxillary sinus 
it is the air space in the body of medulla it is pyramidal in shape with base toward nasal cavity and apex toward zygomatic process